Before we dive into Lures 4.0, let's go back in time just briefly to talk about the three major ways that lures were made in the past. Now, the first well-known lure design material was wood, where you just whittle it out, carve it out, paint it up, add your hooks, and you're ready to go. People still doing that today, takes a ton of time, a lot of skill, I ain't got time for that. Then you take a look at resin lures. This is where you usually make a master, create a mold, and pour resin inside that mold to get, again, a solid body of a fishing lure that you then add your hooks and paint and all that kind of good stuff to. Easier to mass produce a bit, still takes a ton of time, and generally is kind of a one by one process. The so lures 3.0 is how they're mass produced today. Injection molded halves that are glued together and then you add whatever weights and ballast and rattles and all that kind of stuff you want. It is kind of the state of the art today, at least when it comes to mass produced lures, and it is largely out of reach of the home lure maker. So with Lures 4.0, my design goals were very simple. One, had to be well within reach of the home user. Using 3D printers, and in my case, specifically resin 3D printers. Ain't nobody got time for FDM anymore, man. Resin is the future, and we're on 4.0. Let's go with it. The second one is no gluing. I don't wanna print halves and glue them together. That is prone to all sorts of problems with alignment, getting things just kind of off, and really, it's kind of an unnecessary step in the way we're gonna do things here. Number three, no ballast weights, if I can help it, right? If we wanna add weight to get it to sink further, that's fine, but I'd really like to have all of the weighting integrated into the body, whether that's a solid body, a hollow body, or as you'll see soon, kind of a partially hollow body. Last but not least, no sanding, or as little sanding as possible. We want to get as close to taking a lure off the printer, painting it, and rigging it up as we can possibly get. Now, no sanding is not totally reachable when you're talking about resin 3D printing. We do have to print them and add supports, and the supports generally require sanding after the fact. So I've been working on this for about a month and a half. And I think I have one good solid design so far, which is this wake bait. It has amazing action. I can print it. It has proper ballast weights in there. It floats, so it makes the weighting a little bit easier to deal with. I have 3D printed lips that I print separately. I could print these together if I wanted to, uh, but I print them separately because I want them to be clear. And all in all, it's a great lure. How can I fish on it yet? But that's because I suck at fishing. So let's break down this design and why it's made for 3D printing. I start out with a solid body. I then break it up and kind of draw this line to make my ballast in the weighted areas. I hollow out the middle part here, and then you can't have a hollow body in resin 3D printing without having drainage. So I decided to incorporate the drainage directly into the design by punching out the eyes all the way through the hollow part of the lure. This has a number of advantages. One, resin won't get trapped in here. I can cure in there if I really need to. And three, I can add any sort of rattles, any sort of BBs, anything else I want into the main lure body itself. So hey, you don't want to design this stuff? You just want to 3D print it and go? You should join my Patreon where every month I release new lure bodies, new molds for soft plastics, new 3D printable stencils, all that kind of good stuff is in my Patreon for only $12 a month. I'll link in the description below. Check it out. So what are the benefits of doing all this fancy smancy computery stuff? Well, you get perfect symmetry every time. Unless you screw up when you print it, it's gonna be perfectly symmetrical every single body. It's easy to mass produce identical lure bodies over and over and over again. So these are easy to mass produce at home with a off-the-shelf consumer 3D printer. On my mid-size Epax E10, I can print about five of these in roughly five hours. I might even be able to shove seven on there if I really sat down and try to figure out exactly how they'd fit on the build plate. And the same amount of print time, five hours for seven, five hours for one, doesn't matter. As many as you can fit on the build plate, it'll take about five hours to print. 
There's no mold building, there's no carving, there's no sawdust, there's none of that mess. It's super cost effective. On my wake bait design, I can print five of these with a material cost of under $2. That's like, I don't know, 40 cents or something, a lure body. So as you get a design more refined, you can then take it into a tool like Blender and you can add all sorts of scales, and bumps and ridges and skulls if you want to. You can really make this lure body your own without a lot of very complex painting techniques, which is great for me because I suck at painting. I'm gonna post a walkthrough of my complete wake bait design and that'll be linked here. If you wanna learn all the engineering behind making lures, I strongly suggest you check out Franco's channel at Engineered Angler and that link is right here. Take care, tight lines. Ooh, bro.